Item Number SCP-335 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-335 is to be kept in a secure location to prevent tampering. SCP-335 is a set of 153.5-inch floppy disks discovered in a cardboard box found in the attic of former agent shortly after her termination. Each disk is individually numbered and handwritten permanent marker. Disks are to be referred to by their number. SCP-335-001 SCP-335-002, etc. Each disk has also been labeled with a human name in the same writing as the numbering. 118 are male names, and 30 are female. There is some speculation as to whether SCP-335-011 is meant to be male or female. The names have no identified pattern. Initial examination suggested that all 150 disks were blank as their capacity all read as zero megabytes. Dr. B determined that the disks were ordinary and had them archived with the rest of former Agent possessions. It was not until Agent suggested the unlikelihood of Agent keeping a box of floppy disks in her attic among the other contraband that Dr. agreed to have the disk examined again. It was determined that Dr original floppy disk drive had been defective and a different computer was brought in. All 150 disks appear to have an infinite amount of storage space available. It is unknown whether the disk space is truly unlimited or is simply too large to measure. Regardless, the space is effectively infinite. When SCP-335-001 was inserted into Doctor's computer, the contents of a large pornographic website were the first data found on the disk. Further investigation by Agent showed that all the contents of SCP-335-001 are of a pornographic nature. Note from Dr. I believe I know where all our bandwidth is going at night. Agent Computer privileges should be limited until he either finds a girlfriend or learns some self-control. Further investigation revealed that SCP-335-001 through 012 contain pornographic material. However, upon discovering the entire contents of Wikipedia on SCP-335-013, the actual nature of SCP-335 was uncovered. SCP-335 contains the entire contents of the Internet stored within its infinite storage space. It appears to have some sort of organizational system, with similar sites grouped together on the same disk. Experiment 335-007-A showed that when content on the internet is changed, the content of the corresponding disk changes to match. Precisely how this occurs is unknown. It is uncertain what would happen if content on the disk were changed, as all 150 disks seem to be locked in read-only format. Addendum. Agent has proposed on numerous occasions that an experiment be conducted where a disk is destroyed. Doctor, as well as, agree that this could potentially have disastrous effects on a large portion of the internet, and could draw unwanted attention to the Foundation. Such an experiment is not to be attempted under any circumstances. Addendum. The following is a listing of all 150 names written on the disk in their numerical order. No pattern has yet been identified in the names. 001 Johnny 002 Carl 003 Robert 004 William 005 Benjamin 006 Patrick 007 Blake 008 Keith 009 Michael 010 Daryl 011 Jackie 012 Daniel 013 Jimbo 014 Cynthia 015 Valerie 016 Ozzy 017 Wayne 018 Paul 019 Frank 020 Sandra 021 
James 022 Mark 023 Jordan 024 Isabella 025 Eugene 026 Matthew 027 Sean 028 Heath 029 Janice 030 Donald 031 Bradley 032 Ryan 033 Ryan 034 Emily 035 Francis 036 Theodore 037 Craig 038 Sharon 039 Jessica 040 Xavier 041 Parson 042 Hazard 043 J 044 Kelly 045 Oscar 046 Brian 047 Calvin 048 Kenneth 049 Stanley 050 Walt 051 Helen 052 Martin 053 Hubert 054 Joe The letter E in this name is written backwards. Reasoning unknown. 055 Bartholomew 056 Jerry 057 Leroy 058 Stephen 059 Roger 060 Bill 061 Susan 062 Louis 063 Aaron 064 Leopold 065 Gordon 066 Kimberly 067 Dale 068 Julie 069 Randy 070 Vladimir 071 Fred 072 Leon 073 Marcus 074 Ernest 075 Mario 076 Abel 077 Wesley 078 Howard 079 Mickey 080 Sarah 081 Angelica This name appears to be misspelled. Unknown if this was intentional. 082 Tony 083 Andrew 084 Dorothy 085 Stephen 086 Clarence 087 Homer 088 Nathan 089 Maximilian 090 Joshua 091 Ralph 092 Rodney 093 Bruce 094 Eve 095 Philip 096 Alexander 097 Chad 098 Ruth 099 Label is torn. No name remains except for the letter G. 100 Gary 101 Ronald 102 Kyle 103 Antonio 104 Elizabeth 105 Isaac 106 Dennis 107 Chris 108 Anthony 109 Frodo 110 Lawrence 111 Victor 112 Brenda 113 Albert 114 Russell 115 Curtis 116 Pamela 117 Samuel 118 Brandon Note the lowercase first letter. Reasons unknown. 119 Michelle 120 Jesus 121 Walter 122 Boris Russian name translates to Boris 123 Melissa 
124 Justin 125 Jeffrey 126 Gerald 127 Anna 128 Benson 129 Lloyd 130 Nicole 131 Allen 132 Frank 133 Jacob 134 Patricia 135 Joel 136 Harold 137 Derek 138 Amy 139 Douglas 140 Lenny 141 Rebecca 142 Scott 143 Glenn 144 Henry 145 Carlos 146 Mary 147 Normal 148 Eric 149 Dave 150 Japanese name translates to Hajime No from Dr. B just some points of interest here. Disc 1 through 12 apparently contain all the pornography on the internet. With all that there is, I can see why whoever made these got the porn out of the way first. Disc 85, 86, and 101 contain image hosting sites such as Image Shack and Photobucket. MySpace is also on Disc 85. Disc 30 seems to contain the Google homepage and nothing else. The rest of Google's website seems to be scattered all over the place. I've only found a few parts. Disc 119 has emoticons, millions and millions of emoticons, forums, instant messengers, and from other places. After looking long and hard, I have found that can be found on Disc 76. I find it very disturbing that this disc has the same name as SCP-076. Note from Agent SCP-335-085 and 058 are the same name, spelled differently. The name Ryan is used on both SCP-335-032 and 033. SCP-335-028 is named Heath, and that one actor that OD'd on pills, he died at age 28. Vladimir Lenin was born in 1870, and SCP-335-070 is named Vladimir. The name on SCP-335-150 is Japanese and roughly means beginning. I'm assuming that SCP-335-120 is the Spanish name Jesus and not the biblical guy, but I guess you never know. And I agree with Dr. B that it's pretty disturbing that SCP-335-076 has the same name as SCP-076.